committing to the air slash farm down. It is just the big tin can in the back. And we're going straight for the back to back. Brave Bird's first one draws the shield. We are going to outpace to Brave Bird number two. But is Brave Bird going to be enough to knock out? Well, you're going to have to watch the video to find out. So once again, we are taking a look at another busted team in the Open Great League. This is the team that I hit Legend only using Shadow Pokemon for the first time. It is the common Swampert Skarmory Core, but we've got a twist. I'm using Drapion on Aquatel and Sludge Bomb. We're not using Crunch. And the reason for this is, as I lead Skarmory, I am going to be safe switching it into things like Bastiodon and Galarian Stunfisk. Obviously not the best matchups, but Aquatel does provide some nice coverage. So without any further ado, let's jump into the battles. And in game one, we caught Lickitung in the lead. Skarmory loves to see it as it does resist its usual charge moves of Body Slam and Power Whip. They say switch into the Mighty Blue Mouse, but this Blue Mouse is not particularly mighty when you've got a Drapion. I shielded up the first play rough, fired off a Sludge Bomb. The opponent just sacks the resume while they come back in with the Lickitung. Drapion, due to his Dark Typing, is resisting Lick, so we are going to get off a nice amount of chip damage. In case you're wondering why I'm running Sludge as the second move, often when I'm safe switching Drapion, we are countered with something like a Metachan, Scrafty, or Obstagoon, and two Sludge Bombs is enough to knock out. We come back into our Skarmory. The opponent is staying in. They're most likely got Metachan in the back. A really common team. Basic bitch meta at its absolute finest. So I'm going to look to gain back-to-back -back Sky Attack Snipe with Swampert. All we've got to do is get one shield of this Metachan. And then we've got the back-to-back -back Sky Attacks to clutch up this game. The opponent is on Power Up Punch, which obviously is worse for us. But we're still going to get a shield. The opponent... Isn't going to have to shield this first one, but two Hydro Cannons from Shadow Swampert is enough to knock out even this bulky XL fighter. That's the shield. So all we're going to do now is let Swampert go down. We're going to hit the Sky Attack. They sneak a counter. It is boost. I really need to survive. This next counter, we do survive. I hit the Sky Attack. We are going to have to shield up whatever they throw, but Sky Attack is going to be enough to clean up this game. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle, we see Cresselia in the lead. Another good matchup for us. We are going to be resisting all moves from Skarmory, unless they're on Aurora Beam, but let's not kid ourselves. That is an absolute garbage move. We are going to tank this charge move. They go for the Grass Knot, definitely not the play. We're going to fire off a Sky Attack. Sky Attack lands for decent damage. They now switch out into a Vigor off, and I'm going to throw the Hail Marys. We don't really need energy for that Cresselia. Brave Bird lands for big damage. We can now tank this move from Vigor off and commit to the Mud Shot farm down. We leave with a Hydro Cannon. The Cresselia should have a Grass Knot locked and loaded, but Swampert is going to win. CMP, we're going to fire off this Hydro Cannon. This should be drawing a shield from the opponent, which it does. And they are going to fire off a charge move. I am going to allow this to go down, bring back in Skarmory, and it is Reggie Steel in the back. This is going to be somewhat of a tricky spot. So in hindsight, I probably should have saved my Swampert, but we are going to shield up. The Zap Cannon, and we are going to bank that energy, switch out into Drapion. And once again, this is where having no crunch isn't fantastic. We're just going to be spamming out non-stab Aquatails, but this is the Great League. Reggie Steel might be bulky, but nothing is all that bulky in the Great League. We tank the Zap Cannon. We are going to fire off yet another Aquatail. We are starting to get this Reggie Steel into the yellow. They're going to have a real difficult time of farming us down. The opponent comes into Cresselia. We are going to fire off this Aquatail. Look for our switch timer to pop up, but the opponent actually throws. This is giving us a perfect win con. We're going to come in with Skarmory. We're going to commit to the air slash farm down and Reggie Steel. Are you ready for Brave Bird, my good friend? The first Brave Bird should be drawing a shield from Reggie Steel. We are going to reach Brave Bird. Number two, this is resisted, but Brave Bird absolutely busted. Reggie Steel survives on one HP and a dream we are going to shield this up and we should be able to resist it air slash farm down and take that game ggs and thanks for playing moving on to the next battle we get some weak connection we lead into a sableye not the best matchup for skarmory as air slash is such a fucking shit move and it is really clumsy i am going to bait the brave bird looking to get a shield off this sableye sky attack does draw a shield we say switch into drapion i'm counting i believe the one short of the return and to my surprise, we get hit with a fucking return. Uh, not fantastic. So, apparently, I need to go back to school and learn to count. They say switch into Nidoqueen. And this should be time for the GOAT to do motherfucking GOAT things. 
we are going to just soak this energy on Skarmory. I'm not going to shield shit. We're just going to get Needle Queen to dump their energy. And now it's time to come in with Swampert. I've got the Sky Attack locked and loaded, but I'm not even going to bother to throw it. We're going to shield up a potential Earth Power and we don't get debuffed. You love to see it. We look to commit to the farm down. The opponent switches out, not wanting to get farmed down into the Sableye Hydro Cannon. Takes it out what is in the back. The opponent is waiting out their timer, but that is not going to pop back up. They've got the Mighty Blue Mouse in the back. We're going straight for the Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave lands for decent damage. This Azumarill is absolutely excelled. Off it's not, as that didn't do all that much damage. But Hydro Cannon is busted. First one draws the shield. Second Hydro Cannon is going to be enough to knock out. And we're going to be able to mud shot down Nido Queen and Swampert. Bails me out despite my lack of counting. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next one. We see Ariados in the lead. All three Pokemon do decent against Ariados. They say switch into a Sableye. We fire off a Sky Attack, draw in a shield. And this time I am going to respect a potential return. Learning my lesson from the last game. And now it's time to start spamming out Aquatails. Should only take two Aquatails to knock this thing out. Because we did do some nice air slash damage. Let's see if the opponent is willing to shield. They do not. So we're at even shields. Back up comes Ariados. And we are going to outpace to yet another Aquatel. But this little pesky spider is fairly bulky. And that does not do a whole lot of damage. They are going to have to Mega Horn to take us out. They go for a lunge. That isn't quite going to do the job. And we are resisting the poison sting. So we're going to fire off yet another Aquatel. Getting Ariados down into the yellow. We are just going to allow Drapion to go down. They are actually running Cross Poison, so nothing they're running is going to hit Skarmory for any decent damage. They've got the Bear Trap in the back, and Mr. Opponent, you, my friend, should be reaching for that top left. Hydra Cannon draws a shield from the opponent. We are going to shield up in return, even if they bait me. We are going to outpace to the next Hydra Cannon, and the opponent finally concedes the match. GG's, and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle, we lead Skarmory into Victory Bell. You absolutely love to see it. We save switch into Swampert to counter swap the Deoxys. They go straight for the Psycho Boost. We shield the first as it would do the most amount of damage and we are going to be spamming out Hydro Cannons. First one lands. We can tank this second Psycho Boost. It gets us into the yellow and I'm looking to get towards the back-to-back -back Hydro Cannons just before they reach another Psycho Boost. Hydro Cannon takes out Deoxys. And I'm just going to spam out Hydra Cannon against whatever. Because if they come in with Vic, one Razor Leaf is going to be enough to take us out. Hydra Cannon lands on Vic. And for a resisted move, gets Vic into the yellow. They've got Galarian Stunfisk in the back. And we are looking absolutely fucked. The only wink on here would be if the opponent baits. We get Earthquaked. And that is a good game. GG's to the opponent. Moving on to the next battle. Bastiodon in the lead. Dreadful. We say switch into Drapion. They come in. To a Shadow Gramble, we draw a shield with the first Aquatel. We are going to fire off Aquatel. Number two, that also draws a shield. Let's hope it isn't double charm. We are going to come in with Skarmory, but that mid game was so quickly. I am going to have to stall the switch timer. We're not going to shield this up. The opponent goes for a crunch. I am going to get him fairly low, and you're going to see I am going to stop attacking. We then go for a simultaneous KO. I don't want to get farmed from the Bastidon and Shadow Vic, and we lose another battle. You love to see it. Moving on to the next one. We see Sableye in the lead. Let's hope we can get back to winning ways as we've got back-to-back -back really rough team comps. We're going to tank this first foul play. Look to make a switch into my Drapion. The opponent now comes in to Metachan and we are going to fire off a Sludge Bomb. Two Sludge Bombs will knock out. First one lands for big damage. They go straight for the power-up punch. The boosted counters are really going to start chunking. We build up towards the Sludge Bomb and I'm hoping to get off the back-to-back -back Aquatails. The opponent shields the first. I believe we will survive this power-up punch. I'm going to look to under-tap, get the Aquatail off, but we die. Unfortunately, we don't quite make it, but we have gained shield advantage, which isn't too bad. I'm going to come in with the Skarmory. I'm just going to sack it. And once again, we're hoping that the GOAT can do GOAT things. We come in, commit to the Mud Shot farm down the boosted counter damage. Has really started to shred us. We are going to shield up this foul play, but with the air slash damage, one Hydra Cannon will be enough to knock out. They switch out into Wall Face, and this Wall Face is about to get absolutely wrecked. First Hydra Cannon lands for decent damage. I'm just building up towards the back to back. This second Hydra Cannon with the Mud Shot should knock out, which it does. We've got the move locked. 
unloaded. We've still got a shield on the opponent's end. So we over farm just a touch and Swamper is going on an absolute fucking tear up and we clean up this battle. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle, we see Nilo Queen in the lead. All of our Pokemon do fairly decent. They say switch into Obstagoon. I'm going to bring in Drapion as Drapion has the worst matchup out of the three against Nido Queen, despite Aquatel giving us some nice coverage. We're going straight for the Sludge Bomb against Obstagoon, and it does huge damage. The opponent is going to have to cross chop to take us out. They go for a Night Slash. We are going to make this Aquatel. Let's see if the opponent is willing to burn a shield. Yes, they are. So we do manage to get shield advantage in the mid game. We're going to come back into Skarmory, commit to the Air Slash farm down. We are going to have to tank a charge with Night Slash, does a nice bit of chip damage. But we have got some residual energy for whatever is in the back. They've got a Shadow Walrus, this isn't fantastic. I am going to burn a shield here with the Air Slash damage. We will put them into Sludge Wave range. I'm going straight for the Brave Bird. Does the opponent respect it? Yes, they do. I bring in Swampert. Back out comes Nido Queen. I know this is just a Poison Fang, so I'm not going to shield it up. I'm going to over farm once again. I'm going to go for an undercharge, hoping this doesn't knock out. Even though I hit a knife, Nido Queen gets absolutely wrecked. But we've got enough energy lead to reach the Sludge Wave. And Sludge Wave is going to be enough to clean up this battle. GG's and thanks for playing. I say it time and time again, Shadow Swamper, absolutely the go of the Great League. Moving on to the next battle, we see Empoleon in the lead, not fantastic. I save switch into Drapion. The opponent obviously thinks we are running front, so I'm probably the only idiot on this moveset. So luckily for me, they do save switch into Mandibuzz, but with an energy lead, this isn't a bad matchup for us. Aerial Ace is a pretty garbage move. We do tank that. We're not really in danger of being Snarl farmed down. Sludge Bomb draws a shield from the opponent. They do dump their energy as well. So I'm just going to allow Drapion to go down. Hope Shield Advantage Swamper once again can clean up this battle. We come in to the Skarmory. We sneak an Air Slash as is intended as we're both using free turn moves. We get hit with a charge move. We are getting fairly low. I am going to have to throw as I don't want to burn a shield. This sky attack will be taking care of the Mandibars and I'm going to be spamming out a Swampert. They come back in to the Penguin. I am going to have to shield up the Hydro Cannon as Shadow Swampert really doesn't want to take any moves. It's Nine Tails in the back and you already know on this channel we're going straight for the Hail Mary. The opponent shows zero respect. Get absolutely obliterated. We are going to get to one more Hydro Cannon. This Hydro Cannon should draw a shield from the Empoleon, which it does. They do commit to the Waterfall Farm Down. I've got to make the Brave Bird. The opponent through. We snuck. We're now only one away from the Brave Bird. The opponent was two away, and Brave Bird should be enough to seal the deal. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle. We see Jellicent in the lead. They are on Hex, so I imagine they're running Bubble Beam. I'm going to look to catch a potential Shadow Ball on Drapion. The opponent is smart and they do not throw. They counter switch into Metachan. And like I've already said in the video, two Sludge Bombs will be enough to flip switch. So we're hoping to gain shield advantage from this mid game. The first Sludge Bomb lands for big damage. The opponent is going to throw a charge move. Power up punch will not knock out. And I am going to go for a very risky Aquatel bait. I'm hoping I can make the back to back. And to my absolute surprise, the opponent calls the bait. And that is a huge misplay. They come back in to the Jellicent. And I am going to call the Bubble Beam bait and bait the opponent does. We've got a whole boatload of energy. So I throw a Sky Attack, looking to bait a shield from the opponent. The opponent does shield. And once again, I am going to call the Bubble Beam. And this opponent apparently is the biggest master baiter I have ever seen. This again is going to be a Bubble Beam. Holy crap, how many bubble beams can you throw in one battle? Probably about 25 at this rate. We go for the Brave Bird. It lands for decent damage. It's Wigglytuff in the back. This is going to be the risk. Are we going for a bait? Are we fucked? We're going straight for the Sludge Wave. And Sludge Wave one-shots the Charmer. Back out comes the Jelly. I am going to shield up yet another bubble beam. Because I've got to shield something. We've just got to get to the back-to-back -back moves. But we don't even need to do that. We just mud shot down and take that. Battle. Moving on to the next one. We see Kanto Ninetales in the lead. Uh, absolutely dreadful. The opponent attempted to catch an Aquatail on the Walrus, but we do not throw. We land the Sludge Bomb. I believe we are going to survive an Icicle Sphere from this range. We do on 1 HP and a Dream, and I'm going for Sludge Bomb. Number two, is the opponent willing to give up a shield? No, they are not. So we actually manage to flip switch, and Drapion survives the Fire Spins and makes an Aquatail. 
This gets the canine into the yellow with now flip switch. We bring out Swamper. The opponent has got enough for an overheat and overheat lands it near one shots us in the back is the tree, but we've got two shields. So this game is going to come down to fast moves. I'm going to shield up absolutely everything. The opponent baits me, but they can't double bait and reach a shadow ball because Skarmory is quite oppressive in its shadow form. The opponent finally fires the shadow ball. We commit to the air slash farm down back out comes the nine tails. The opponent throws some energy because they're running out of HP and now Swampert should be able to mud shot down. And the opponent is going to save two shields for season 12. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle is the Obstagoon in the lead. Pretty neutral matchup. Obstagoon does outpace the clumsy Skarmory. I am going to build up to a Brave Bird and look to catch the next Night Slash on Drapion. And we are successful. The opponent is staying in. I am going to fire off a Sludge Bomb and Sludge Bomb will knock out unless the opponent is willing to shield. They just let it go. So we've managed to flip switch and they've got Mandibuzz. So is this a triple dark team? I have no idea, but we are going to still be spamming out Sludge Bombs against the Flying Umbreon. It lands for decent damage. We should survive an Aerial Ace from this range. And we should be able to make another Sludge Bomb. We fire off Sludge Bomb. Number two is Flying Umbreon. Going to give up a shield. They finally give up a shield. It looks like they're going for the aggressive Snarl farm down, so this Mandibuzz is fairly loaded. We come back in to the Skarmory, and I'm going straight for the Brave Bird. Sky Attack wouldn't care, and the opponent actually shields it up. I'm just going to let Skarmory go down and put it all on Shadow Swamp, but the opponent goes for an Aerial Ace. We do survive. I switch out into Swamp, but I am going to have to shield up a potential Dark Pulse. I'm going to over farm as much as I physically can. This Hydra Cannon should be enough to knock out from this range and what is in the back. Swamp, but Against Ferrothorn, Bullet Seed is double super effective. They are going to need eight Bullet Seeds for the back-to-back -back Power Whip. First Hydro Cannon gets them fairly low and the opponent through. I think if you're the opponent, you should just be going for the fast move. Farm down. Can Swampert survive the Bullet Seeds? The one away from the charge move. But however, we have the back-to-back -back locked and loaded and Swampert survives and is a Grass Steel Counter confirmed. GG's. Moving on to the next one, we see the Bear Trap in the lead, absolutely dreadful. We say switch into Drapion and the opponent is staying in. We are going to have to shield up a potential Earthquake and the opponent baits us. The opponent now makes a great catch, catching an Aquatel on Alteria. This game isn't going particularly well, however we are so far ahead on energy. We fire off a Sludge Bomb, it gets Alteria into the yellow and we are going to outpace to the next Sludge Bomb. Is the opponent willing to give up a shield? Yes, they are. So we've actually got our shield back. The opponent is still not throwing. We're going to get off an Aquatel. Aquatel will not KO, but it's actually a CMP tie. So we've got this Alteria fairly low and we've dumped their energy. We come back in to the Skarmory, commit to the Air Slash farm down. Back out comes the Bear Trap and I'm not going to shield up a Rock Slide. We're going to now say switch into Swamper. What does the opponent have in the back? We're getting a whole boatload of lag. It's a zoom rule in the back. Are we going to bait? You've already seen we don't bait on this channel. We go straight for the sludge wave. The opponent shields it up. Not fantastic. I am going to have to shield up a potential play rough, which we do. We're going to over farm as much as we can. Fire off the sludge wave. Sludge wave is going to get Azu fairly low. We're going to have to throw eventually. I'm counting bubbles They're at the ice beam now. So I throw the hydro cannon. Hydro cannon takes out the blue mouse. We are going to outpace this Galarian Stunfisk to yet another Hydro Cannon and Swamper is going on an absolute fucking tear up to close out the video. So those were the battles with this team that's been around since the start of time. Well, Swampert Skarmory Core has been anyway. Drapion, it's been around since about Season 7. I made Legend in Season 8, I think, only using Shadow Pokemon. The one with the kind of weird pose where he's got his hand on his hip and one above his head. That was the first time I reached Legend with this team and you can see it still does work today. So if you're enjoying the content, smash that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing and I will see you all in the next one.